practically synonymous with Harlem. It's been an institution since it opened its doors in 1962. But if you want to check out a real neighborhood joint with serious stick to your rim soul food, we're going to have to head to the Bronx. Elliot opened up CeeLo on Soundview Ave eight years ago. A FedEx delivery guy by day, he runs his popular soul food restaurant at night, which is a dream come true for him and for the hungry people that double park to pick up their orders. So what do you guys make that people come running for? Oh, the macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it's the bomb. That was so good. <laughs> Thank you. That was so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What? This can't be good for you. You almost forgot my cornbread. No, your cornbread. People have gotten in fights over your cornbread. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's yummy. You gotta try the collard greens. Three, two, one. Mmm. I love collard greens. And those are good. As I'm interviewing him, I'll have you know what I'm still eating. Now what if you want to enjoy a little soul food from the comfort of your own home? Well then let's go to our very own Ed McFarland of Ed's Lobster Bar. He's at the PC Richard & Son Kitchen Showroom in Southampton with his twist on this classic dish. Po' boy, traditional New Orleans dish, but with a spin. We're going to use lobster. We're going to start off by making a light tempura batter. What I have here is flour mixed with cornmeal. I'm going to pour in club soda and an egg. Mix that up. The lobster was cooked and deshelled. And then we're gonna cut this into approximately one inch cubes. And we're gonna go over to our pan, which is hot with oil to fry. And you may have to flip the lobster over as it's frying in here, so you can get both sides. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little salt on here while it's hot. And then we're ready to assemble our sandwich. So we have our nice warm bread, which we're going to remove from the oven. We're going to lightly spread tartar sauce on it. And then we're going to put lettuce, tomato, and the coleslaw on. Nice fried lobster. Put that right on top. A little bit of chive. And voila, a lobster po' boy. I don't think you'll find a better sandwich anywhere. And if you want to cook in style like Ed, just log on to PCRichard.com. And that brings us to the trivia challenge. Get this right and you could win free music and free dinner for two at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. So listen up. And what year did Cab Calloway and Bing Crosby perform on Walter Winchell's radio show? In what year did Cab Calloway and Bing Crosby perform on Walter Winchell's radio show? His moment, 1930s, on Walter Winchell's radio show. He gets together with Bing Crosby and Duke Ellington and they break the color barrier. Now just log on to TonyOnNewYork.com and enter to win. And while you're there, check out New York City's go-to guide for a good time. You will find all the stories you saw right here today, plus hundreds of other awesome ways to spend a perfect day exploring New York, from kid-friendly fun to cutting-edge cocktails, even fun freebies. So check us out at TonyOnNewYork.com. Well, we hope you enjoyed learning all about jazz as much as we did, but we need to know what to do next week. So do me a favor and follow us on Twitter or find us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time on Tony On. Hey, Wendy, it's Nancy, live from the Coton Harmon Newsstand. And Chris, my son Jacob is your biggest fan. Oh. Could you sign an autograph for me, oh, please? Cool. Love you. Oh, that's beautiful. And this week? Yeah, I love that. All right, so Jacob is getting, oh, yeah. having his bar mitzvah next year. I love that. If we could sign a book to Jacob, that might be better, right? Who that say they gon' beat them sink? Who that? Who that? Who that say they gon' beat them sink? Who that? We didn't have a little recording with the dance Who that? Who that say they gon' beat them sink? <laughs> Who that? They just won something. We've been losing for 43 years. No, I'm not feeling more for nobody. We deserve something. Who that?